Yeah, Fridays are typical drinking night in VR. Oh. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> that, was the, that was the worst voice crack I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Holy shit. My fucking voice is so bad. I think it's nighttime. Like, pitch black, man. It's hour two. We're already on day eight? Wow. Okay, chat. Let's figure out what we're doing so we can plan around that. Uh, we have some active contracts here. Actually, this one can probably be completed right now. If I go to my space station, right? Maybe. Let's go to our space station and see how this is doing. Lord, what's up, man? Thanks for the seven-month sub. Look at this beautiful space station. Did we finish a contract? We did! Look at that! Contract finished. Easy. Okay. Uh, so we have Valentina Kerman in this beautiful space station that is like the junior version of the space station. Uh, it's very small and only uses junior docking ports, so this is just what we have made so far, but she is on board. There are plenty of snacks. Currently, there is a 92-day supply of snacks, and the electric charge should be infinite, I believe. Should be infinite, because we have a bunch of solar panels, which is kind of cool. Uh, besides that, oh, they're making mulch. I don't have a lot of room for mulch. I don't know where mulch is going to go. Start life support. What does that mean? Do I need life support on for this kind of stuff? Oh, I even got more supplies now. Is that using electric charge? I don't know. I totally forgot to do that, though. So, what we're going to be doing today is going to the moon. Mun, whatever you're going to call it. We have a few missions that are already... Oh, can we do EVA report? More science, Pog? I'd have to transfer her. Do I want to do that right now? Not really. Um... Let me show you what we've got so far. Let's go back to the Space Center. That uh, space station is in orbit around 100,000 meters. It's actually really nice. And we have a lot of fuel there, too. So what we're going to do... Uh, oh, the F1 downforcing. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is I made this little, little lander yesterday. It's like a little probe lander. I don't know what you want to call it. I call it the flea. But it looks like this. And it's adorable. Look at this thing, dude. This is a little landing probe that we're going to send to the moon. Uh, and it just has a little communi a communi a communotron on it. It's got little legs and it's got some RCS fuel and it uses RCS thrusters and stuff. It's adorable. Uh, how much fuel does it have? I don't, I mean, I think it should be over the land. How much Delta V does it have? I don't know. We can throw this thing into space and actually do some experiments with it, but, uh, I'm not really sure, but it's, it's adorable. Uh, okay. So I'm going to put this on a separator. I don't really want a stack separator. I want a normal decoupler. Do we have a fairing yet? I feel like we don't. I really want fairings. So I could, like, if I could put this in a fairing, it'd be so nice. All right. We're just going to launch this as is. Can I just put this on an SRB and call it good enough? You know, technically we could. We're just going straight up anyways. Right? Hold on. Is this a bad idea? If I go straight up, can this should put me at like 200,000, I thought. It'll destroy it. How, what's the thrust to weight ratio here? 2.97. All right, dudes. Fine. You talked me out of it. You talked me out of it. That's exactly 1.5. Right there. That should honestly be enough. All we gotta do is go up, essentially. Uh, wait, is that? That's not in vacuum, is it? This actually could get to orbit. Yeah, we could we could send this to orbit if we wanted to. As long as we did it right, it should work. Let me put some fins on here. Because I think we do want a little bit of drag. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. I think that'll do. Do we want to recover this? I guess we should. That's going to add a lot of uh, drag, too. But I guess recovery smart. Um, 9.8 is a constant for mass. Okay, we should be able to calculate this. Let me get this off of here real fast. So, 
for these thrusters, right? This thruster has a thrust power of two. I guess thrust power doesn't really matter. It's just the ISP. And we're talking about IST in vacuum. So we have 240, so 9.8 times uh, 240. This is gonna be equal to VE. And then our, gonna, our mass full is gonna be mass full equals uh, the total mass here. How do you see craft mass? Oh, information, vessel information, maybe? Mass so far is point eight nine five tons. Do you not need to know thrust limit at all? Oh, I guess thrust doesn't matter, right? Thrust is only, the only thing you need thrust for is a calculation for um, TWR, which I guess we should also calculate, but still. Uh, okay, 2.1566 LN times two, three, five, two. This has 1,807 delta V? What? Point six, technically. What the hell? That's insanity. There's no way this has 1,807 delta V. Y'all ready? Should we launch this bitch? <laughs> I feel like we know this is gonna work. Let's send it, man. We we know it's gonna work. Thrust the full. Uh, you can see we have a 1.5. I'm gonna throttle down just slightly. I think we don't need 1.5. I'm gonna keep it around like 1.4. Uh, SAS on. We have no RCS. Let's launch. Uh, three, two, one. Do, 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 do. Uh, I do not think there's a night stream today, man. I'm sorry. God, look at this beautiful thing. Look at it go. I really wish I put these on sideways, but it's fine. I kind of want to rotate this 90 degrees, but then I'm going to get confused. Keep it low and slow, you know? Getting a bit excited there, aren't you, man? Alright, there we go. Looking pretty good, Chad. Launching at night? Yeah. I don't, I don't want to speed up time because we have life support and we have people on a space station right now. So if we start skipping time just to launch during the daytime, uh, we're going to end up going through life support a lot faster than I want to. Alright, time to accelerate. I wonder what's too fast in Atmo. I feel like if I start going faster than like a thousand meters a second, when we're under uh, 30,000, it gets a little hot. I like how it's just rotating normally. It's kind of cool. Alright. This thing is nice, dude. It's very, very stable, too. We should get this as far as we can, but save a little bit of DV separate and then continue with the probe until we get a uh like we can basically do this right let's see how much delta v like we could be, we do this kind of thing and then we separate and then we finish it off with the probe and go all the way to the moon and then with the little bit of fuel we have left we wait till up here and then we use the fuel we have left on the main stage to set this to around three thirty thousand or however low we can get it uh and crash it back into kerman I think that's probably smarter. Cutting engines. That's acceptable. Nominal. Nominal. There's the moon right there. The, yeah, the plume mod I added is really fucking cool. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to undock this now. So let's... Uh, and this has a probe core, so it should be good. Let's stage it. Okay. And now we have this with an unknown amount of DV, but it's a fuck ton of DV. And I should be able to go back to this one, too. Let me extend this antenna real fast. 
and we're on this course so i think i'm just going to basically keep accelerating so point this right here watch our charge and uh, as long as we have rcs enabled this should work just watch our monoprop that monoprop is barely dropping this is so efficient this is nuts full thrust lowering thrust for encounter all right there's the encounter and i think the most efficient way is to go here and then uh basically try to circleize on pe i think that's good enough that that's a the thrust is pretty damn high i could limit this though it's not too bad all right things we need to do uh while we're waiting i want to point this towards the sun enough and then i want to god i really hope that we can land properly uh oh is that burn gonna be <sighs> chat disable sas that burn might be behind the moon it's fine speed up time a little bit remember there's no quick saving and no quick loading so we really want this mission to go well, and us being impatient right now and warping, and if something goes wrong, that it wasn't, like, the solar panel wasn't pointed and we lost our electrical power, that kind of shit is uh, a waste of time. Like, it's a bigger waste of time than the simple time we save by warping. Uh, we're getting kind of low to the surface, but this still isn't too low, and I can kill my speed pretty quick. Yeah. 500 meters a second with RCS to land. Yeah, but this has a fucking 8.28 thrust to weight ratio, dude. Pog that. Actually, probably more right now since we have less fuel, less weight. I don't know when we should start killing uh, the horizontal speed, but I feel like at any point now is good. Like, should I kill a bit of it? Just to feel safer? Because it's always better to do sooner rather than later. Man, full thrust is kind of ridiculous. I'm just going to get it down to like a hundred or so. Again, safer is better. Probably very inefficient to do what I just did. Again, we're still going a hundred meters a second. That's a lot. Again, you say I'm wasting fuel until I crash into the moon because I actually wasn't decelerating fast enough because I'm on RCS thrusters, chat. We have 12 kilonewtons of thrust. That's it. That's freaking it, man. dude we're not gonna land on these rocks are we i hope not almost time for gear all right we're basically going straight down now That went perfectly! What? That went so perfectly! 
Holy moly! Bro, 